What's going on everybody? Dreamcast84 here. What's up? Yeah, so today we got Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Now, we talked a little bit about Marvel vs. Capcom 1, and there's not really much to say about the second one other than it's better. There's more characters. The graphics may be just slightly better. Uh, just the environments and stuff are epic compared to the other one. Um, yeah, really not much to say. Just kind of filling up time. Just opening up a random package as I'm talking to you. Let's see what we got this time. Uh, just looking at uh, what I got here. I, yeah, I couldn't find my hat, so I just threw on like a cap. Um, what is this? Uh, just regular. They they they, they uh, pack this one really tight. Uh, oh, this is an EB Games memory card that I got here, and I don't want to. I, I got some other stuff, but I don't have to, you know, make a video about it. But um, I got a I got a Rumble Pack that's an EB, and I think there's like a rare Electronics Boutique Dreamcast that you can get your hands on. Well, it's just kind of a rare item. Kind of like the Ozfest signed Dreamcast and whatever. Right on. Yeah, a little weird, obscure stuff. But, uh, yeah, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Let's look into this one. Are you ready to go for a ride? See, that's what I'm talking about. Listen, right? Okay, I get you. Yeah, I want to take you for a ride. <laughs> like this, <laughs> this music is so criticized. There's music patches there's uh, isos you can burn copies of this you can get michael jackson remixes i have that one burnt i have the michael jackson remix version of this game um there are other versions you can you can mix and match and do your own audio if you know how to do it i never did but i am always partial to wolverine let's see ground type because he will do the berserker barrage as we always say cable is memorable and I want him to be projectile type because he's got a cool little weapon. And I think this, uh, I kind of want to pick this Anunnaki guy, Anakaris. But I'm going to be Iceman because he's cool. You know. And I'll make him balanced because none of the characters are balanced. Just to kind of keep things in uh, momentum or uh, keep things in uh, equilibrium. Yeah, everybody loves Marvel vs. Capcom, I mean. Yeah, look at how awesome this is compared to the other game. This is night and day. Uh, the first game is really good, but it, like I said, it kind of reminds me of the Sega Saturn uh, X-Men games, you know. Uh, this one has a slightly different feel. The backgrounds are incredible. Uh, you know, the backgrounds are a little bit more immersive, I think. See, that's what it's all about. I love that move. I love how here recently I'll be talking about a move and then it'll show up on camera. I just love it. But, uh, yeah, I'm not really familiar with Cable. Is there going to be a Cable movie? Because, you know, uh, all these superheroes, they're having representation. If Ant-Man can be in a movie and Black Panther and these all these other characters, why not Cable? What's up with Cable? There's, like, tons of comic book people we haven't seen movies about yet. But, yeah, if you're a fan of, you know, movies, Marvel, comic books, video games, this game is really up your alley. It's amazing. Um, just look at it. It's great. Oh, man. They have Cable, too. They got some sort of... Oh, that monkey. 
character with the staff there. Yeah, it's got some sort of rod. Some weapon. Staff. Staff weapon. It's just a stick. Oh, come on now. I was trying to do my berserker. Bar -bar my hands are already cramping up. I think that this game cramps your hands up way more than Marvel vs. Capcom 1. Um, yeah, uh, people like arcade sticks probably because they don't cramp up the hands as much and you have to actually learn the moves. So you, you, you can really get into the games a lot more if you have an arcade stick, but... Uh, yeah, I just, I've always held off on getting an arcade stick. I just need one. You know, the official one. I, I guess I'll, I'll provide an overlay. Come on now. But, um, yeah, I'm going to show different characters just for, you know, for example purposes. Yeah, I mean, I you know, I picked a couple of characters so you can kind of get an idea of what this game is about. There's tons of videos online you can get you know, your fix of this. Uh, you know, when it comes to fighting games, this one's pretty solid. It's just, uh, you know, I say the same things in all these videos. It's uh, it's good stuff, man. I mean, you know, what what's not to say? It, it, the first Marvel vs. Capcom was good, but this one's great compared compared to it and. Um, I think that other fighters like Street Fighter Third Strike is just better overall, but this is really good with the tag system. Like, we didn't see games like this, you know, back in the day. It used to be just one-on-one, -on -one, and now it, you got all this crazy action. And just at the time, all of this crazy ta action was just intense. It, it, like, I, I, I like being overwhelmed with stuff on the screen when it comes to fighting games and just pulling off moves and playing with your friends and having a good time that way so you already know I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10 this is a good fighting game it's it's highly regarded and I'm not gonna keep that from people I'm not gonna you know give this game like an 8.5 and then just say I hate Capcom or something it, I mean you know credit credit is you know give credit where credit is due this is a good game 10 out of 10 just look at it it's uh, the sound is a little bit bad in the menu music, but the main game is okay. You know, you can pick a lot of characters, and you can unlock a whole lot of characters, too. I think there's like 52 or 56 characters you can unlock. It's insane. So, right on. I give this a 10 out of 10. I recommend. Thanks for watching.